Do not forget to subscribe to Rajshri Food and for regular recipe notifications, click on the bell icon. Potatoes are an universal favorite, and with potatoes, of course, you can make zillions of recipes. Today, I'm making potato lollipops. Potato lollipop is a quick, light, and a delicious snack for your parties, and also to fulfill your midday hunger pangs. On that note, let's make potato lollipops. What's required for potato lollipops are some boiled and peeled potatoes. We need to grate these. Once the potato is grated and done, let's add in a chopped onion. Along with the onions, let's also chop some green chilies. Alternately, if you're not comfortable with green chilies, you could also add in chili flakes or black pepper. Let's chop this nice and fine. And let's add this to the grated potatoes. Once this is done, Let's start adding in some spices. The first one is red chilli powder. This is followed by roasted cumin which is powdered. Followed by roasted and crushed coriander seeds. And along with this, chaat masala. Let's add in two liquid ingredients. The first one is some lemon juice. And along with this, paste of ginger and garlic. To get all of this well bound together, I'm adding in two ingredients. The first one is refined flour. And along with this, fresh breadcrumbs. Let's mix all of this together. Well, if you've added salt while boiling the potatoes, you need to be extremely careful while adding salt at this stage because remember for a fact that potatoes of course would have the salt and the bread also has salt. So let's taste this before adding in salt further. Well, I personally feel this recipe would require a touch of salt. Let's do that. One final mix before we head to the next step. Moving on to the next step. We need to take lemon sized or smaller balls of potato like so and roll them lightly. The potato balls are done and ready. Let's take this to level 2 and make a slurry using refined flour, water and just a touch of salt. Let this be nice and thick. Let's stir this well and ensure that this is lump free. The consistency of this mixture needs to be like double cream. It should be of dropping consistency like so. Not very thin, not very thick. Well, the next step is to take some fresh breadcrumbs on a plate and dip the potato balls in the slurry. Coat this well and drop it in the breadcrumbs. Coat this well and press this lightly. Let's keep this aside and similarly let's start processing the other potato balls. With this our potato balls are crumbed and ready. These now need to be frozen for 15 minutes before frying. Well, our crumb potato balls are well frozen. At this stage, what I am doing is frying these directly. But if you need to store this or if you wish to store these, what you could do is portion these and keep it in a sealed and airtight container in the freezer. And trust me, these stay perfectly well for a month. Let's fry these in hot oil on high flame because all you need to do is get a nice and crisp golden brown exterior. Do not overcrowd the pan at this stage because you would just end up breaking all the potato balls. Also ensure that you do not start stirring this immediately because that would also result in breaking these. Just give that 
a light stir like so, so that the balls do not stick at the bottom of the pan. But you need to be extremely careful while doing this. Do not lower the flame at any point in time because two things would happen. Either the potato balls would break in oil or two, they'll start absorbing in a lot of oil. So make sure. Once these turn nice and golden brown, let's transfer these on an absorbent tissue paper. And just before these go on the dinner table, one last step. The toothpicks to convert these into lollipops. With this, our potato lollipops are done and ready. And what I like most about this recipe is that all the ingredients are almost always there in your home kitchen. While you can make this recipe any time of the day in a jiffy, also do not forget my trick on keeping these frozen. Do not forget to like and share the video and subscribe to Raj Report.